sides of the river. I'll spit it out. <laughs> yes, it is. Nine News reporter Deb Silverman continues our team coverage. She's live at Great American Ballpark with how opening day marks a boost for the local economy. Deb? Carol, experts on the economy say the more games that the Reds win, the more money people will spend. Fans dressed in red packed downtown hot spots for opening day. The tickets, the food, the drinks all add up. Amber Duane of Florence estimates she and her husband dropped 500 bucks to be part of the season opener. We don't feel bad about it because it's a great day and, you know, it's worth spending money on. Even people who don't have tickets for the game are spending. We'll probably drop 100 bucks or so, you know. Um, Depends on how long we uh, hang out this afternoon. You know, my dad picked up lunch, so, uh, so, so maybe somewhere closer to 50 bucks. The servers are hustling. The taxi drivers are on the go. The stores are busy. Jeff Rexhausen is an economics researcher at the University of Cincinnati. Winning team is great for the city, and that's why people who might not have an interest as a fan still have an interest in the team because it does mean growth for our local economy. Rexhausen says it's been years since anyone has done a study on the Reds' economic impact on the area, but he is sure the team brings in hundreds of millions of dollars a year. The Reds' attendance last year as we went through the year just grew and grew and grew, and that means that the number of people coming from out of town just grew and grew and grew, and that means that the spending that took place in businesses here grew and grew and grew, and so we had more people being paid because they were coming in to work and so all of that money just ripples through the economy and that's how we get to the point where it's hundreds of millions of dollars. The hotels noticed the boost from good games. Last year when we uh, made the playoff run and actually clinched the playoff spot, I mean just within that last couple of months uh, just ten times more than what we would normally get if you know the team was in fifth or sixth place. So did the restaurants. The more winning games and the more games that the Reds sell out, the, the better for all of us downtown. Fans and business owners tell me they need the Reds to have a good season because they say they don't think they're going to be able to count on the Bengals. Carol. Yep, Silverman <laughs> reporting live for us. Thanks a lot, Deb.